Many people are confused by the term learning disability and some students are apprehensive about taking it on. People with a learning disability can sometimes struggle to cope with aspects of everyday independent living. For most, around 20 in a thousand, extra help is only needed in times of crisis. But for some, around three to four in a thousand, more intensive support is needed. Progress can be slow, but by helping someone like Andrea here to speak up for herself, you're increasing her self-confidence and sense of worth, and enabling her to share more fully in the challenges and pleasures of living. Um, it can be hard work at times, but I think that you're promoting people's health and teaching people skills and that's where the rewards come in really because it takes a lot of time and it might be long term to just teach somebody to make a cup of coffee but then when they can do it themselves they're independent they can do it themselves so I think it's but it's also got a lot of similarities to general nursing as well because um, you're at health promotion you're also dealing with physical health as well but then it also involves social, taking people out into the community and things like that, developing the skills and the communication skills and also mental health as well. So it, it's a big collection really I think and that's why it's so interesting. You, you're working with clients on a daily basis, especially on our team, who have very challenging behaviours and that can, be, it can cause a huge emotional strain on you. But I think if you're able to laugh about it and be able to leave that at home, then that's, the, that's a really good element.